Mall store owner who canceled the signing for Broncos linebacker Brandon Marshall is drawing attention to his business in another way tonight. Steve Martin, the owner of Primetime Sports, says the angry phone calls and threats that he received caused him to reflect on what he says are the people who really made this country great. And now, as KRDO News Channel 13's McKellia White shows us, he's creating a special showing of patriotism. So these are all ready to go. Steve Martin is making a public statement. He doesn't want his country disrespected. It's the United States of America, the flag and what it represents. Martin says he's received a lot of criticism since canceling the Brandon Marshall signing. We are giving full refunds. Marshall took a knee during the national anthem to protest racial inequality in the U.S. For about a week, we just got kind of banged up and battered from both directions. First, it was all the customers that were upset with us because we scheduled the signing. Then we got beat up pretty bad for when we canceled the signing. But now Martin says his vision is clear. So I'm walking back from my warehouse and I'm looking at all this glass. And I had a picture in my mind of the Vietnam War Memorial. So he posted on his Facebook yeah, so asking that. for photos of war heroes past and present as a way to honor America. Day one, we had uh, five photographs come in. And then day two, it went to 44. Day three, 77. He already has about 500 photos, and now he's determined to fill this, this whole the wall. There's another voice out there, the voice that stands behind me to cancel this signing in respect of our flag and what it stands for. And that's the voice that's being spoken with every one of these photos that I post. And while Martin can't deny Brandon Marshall's right to kneel, he also can't deny his duty as an American. In Colorado Springs, Michaelia White, Cardio, News Channel 13. And Martin is about 40% done with that wall.